Hi there, today we're going to talk about how you can configure Visual Studio to do Visual Studio ASP.NET Web API development. So um, there is an installer now with Visual Studio. This, these instructions are specifically for Visual Studio 2017. I have the Enterprise version installed on my computer, but this will work with the Community Edition as well or other versions that you may have installed. So the first thing you can do is from Visual Studio itself, you can launch the Visual Studio installer, which will let you configure the different features in Visual Studio. So this is useful if you're doing different types of development. And so the way you can do that is from the file menu. And I'll pause this for just a minute while it does this update. So under the file menu, you can select new project. And what you'll notice is right here, it says not finding what you're looking for, open Visual Studio installer. So you can click that, answer yes, because this is going to make configuration changes. And at this point, you can go ahead and shut down Visual Studio. Usually if you change features, it's not going to let you do that with Visual Studio running. This is also the place that you can update Visual Studio if you need to. You can also do it from within Visual Studio itself. And it'll take a few moments for it to bring up your configuration. So I have, I have several things here that I do that I use Visual Studio for. At a minimum, you need to have this one right here checked, ASP.NET and Web Development. And if you look over here, what you'll find here is this list of tools needs to be checked and these are um, by these are the default so I haven't selected anything specifically here if you are interested in doing MVC you can do that some people have reported having some problems with the Visual Studio installer um, so I want to show you a, a bit of a trick here so the other way that you can get to the Visual Studio installer and if you have problems specifically if it keeps telling you when you run it that the installer needs to update and it kind of is in an infinite loop every time you update it just comes back and tells you that again one way to break out of that is to is to go to where the Visual Studio installer is installed which uh, in my case is program files x86 Microsoft Visual Studio installer and if you will right click on this and then select run as administrator that will get you out of that loop it'll go ahead and do the installation successfully so what you'll notice here is this will get me right back to the same place so that's the minimum that you need to have installed in order to do the web API videos that I've produced so hopefully this has been useful to you and will help you get things configured properly so that you can go ahead and work along with those examples.